Good day. Aussie Bonsai bloke here. How you go? Uh, today I'm going to be working on me um, pomegranate here. I've done a few videos of it in the past. I've done some carving on it, done some wiring on it, um, and different sorts of things. So today, all I'm going to be doing today is just chopping. You can see the shoots are anywhere from six to eight nodes long, getting pretty long, and it's time to cut it back. In fact, it's probably probably should have been done a week or so ago, but didn't really realise how quick it was growing. So, so I'm going to chop it back to two shoots per location, and then after that, I'm going to have a look at the wiring and see if the wiring's cutting in yet. If it is, I'll have to cut it off. If not, I'll leave it on a bit longer, but we'll see how it goes. The branches would probably hold now anyway if I cut the wire off, so I may well just do that. No worries. Cheers. Okay. I'll just give you a quick spin of the tree. Just a standard pomegranate. So basically I'll just start anywhere really and just knock off all the shoots I don't want. All the... Looks like I want to keep this shoot here to develop into a branch. It's a little bit behind this branch but I'm going to cut it back anyway. I should... Probably could have left it but I do want to develop the whole tree at once rather than let one branch grow long and then then when I cut it back later the rest of the tree will overtake it again anyway so I'll just cut it back now and see how it goes so I'm just cutting all the shoots back to only two nodes getting rid of anything in a, in a crotch okay anywhere where there's three coming out I'll get it back to only uh, two, three or four from any one location because you don't want to create a big bulge in the branching and that's basically it I'll just keep going around cutting shouldn't actually take too long so I might leave you might leave you on here while I go through every cut just cut back to two, back to two just do this through the whole tree Surprisingly, it doesn't take that long. This is probably the fun bit, I reckon, doing this. So this tree, I'm trying to think where exactly I got it from. Um, I think it was a seedling that I planted in the ground. Maybe, probably close to not sure, I'm going to say six, maybe seven years ago I planted this one in the ground. Um, one of my first lot of field growing I did, could even possibly be eight. Um, then I dug it out the ground two, I'm going to say two years ago, could be wrong, been wrong before, there's a nice long shoot in the middle. Um, I'm going to say two years ago, and then basically I've just done a first initial styling, I think I did the second styling, this is probably going to be, this is not actually a styling, it's just really a trim, but it's the third major work that it's had on it since it got dug up, um, yeah, so I reckon all up seven years so they grow pretty quick really um, it's gonna look good when it starts getting flowers I haven't had any flowers on here yet um, it'll look good when it's all full of flowers I might leave the odd pomegranate on there but the I guess the, the pomegranates do get quite big so one it might stress the tree out a bit and two it'll look a little bit out of proportion with a massive pomegranate sitting on the side <laughs> but I'll leave a couple on there just for a bit of interest I'll find a nice strong branch 
one of the strong branches that's holding onto a fruit and I'll, I'll let it shoot, let it keep the fruit, see how, see how it develops, make for a good photo anyway. So yeah, I'm just chopping through here, nothing really out of the ordinary. I think last year I had a lot of, um, I think you call them thrips all over this tree, all over the leaves. They got a really bad infestation of them so I had to keep spraying it constantly with that eco pest oil. Um, so that was a bit of a pain to try and control. It didn't end up doing any real damage because I kept on it all the time, kept spraying it. I would hose them off with a hose, really, really high pressured hose and then spray it down with this pest oil and eventually it sort of got them under control. The only way I noticed at the start, the leaves were a little bit wrinkly. Almost like when you get a bit of roundup damage on a plant, glyphosate damage, and they get to that sort of wrinkly sort of look to them, a bit of yellow patches in them. So that was starting to happen, so I had a bit of an investigate and found the little buggers all infested all over the leaves everywhere, back of the leaves. Um, but yeah, as I said, I got them under control, so it was, didn't end up being a big deal. Could have been a lot worse. That's why you got to keep on top of your trees all the time. So yeah, I'm cutting them all back to two, and if there's three in any location, I'll chop one branch off altogether. But to be honest, this doesn't seem too bad for putting out three or four at any one spot. Most of the time it looks like it's only got two, which is handy, because a lot of the a lot of the trees end up with three or four, and it's pretty hard work trying to work out where they all come from and thin them out. So good to have one like this that only grows two from each location, roughly. Still cutting away. Back to twos. We had our first warm day today. It was meant to be 30, 39 degrees Celsius here in South Australia today, but I don't think it quite got to that to be honest. I think it probably only got to about 34. Not sure, I'd have to check the weather, but didn't feel that hot. Sometimes we get up to 44, 45 degrees here in South Australia, which is pretty hot. Not sure what that is in barren hot, bloody hot. Probably 110, 115, not sure. But yeah, pretty warm. We get a few of those days every year without fail plants don't like it much. I water when I get those sorts of days I reckon I'd water my plants up to five times a day when it's like that. Normally on those sorts of days because I work outside I knock off early and I come home and pretty much just keep misting the trees constantly and trying to keep them cool, trying to look after them because they're out in full sun they don't have any shade protection. If I had a bit of shade protection it'd be better. When I get the new house, um, I'll get a bit of shade protection on and then. Oh, a bit of news about the new house too. Looks like it's all happening. Our uh, bank's approved everything and we're going to be moving in there in only next week, I think. So, might be the last video you see for a while. Might try and do a couple more before I move, but yeah, so we're going to be moving out. I guess you could call it a bit of a hobby farm, but really we're not going to do any farming. We're just going to live out there and relax in the peaceful lifestyle, away from annoying neighbours and all that sort of hustle and bustle. Got a lot of ice addicts here where I live, so yeah, so it's going to be good. Get out there, get away from all those bloody meth heads and whatever else we got here in South Australia. 
We just get out there on our own and relax and do some rock walls and maybe build a might even build a bonsai studio out of rock, I don't know, we'll see. See how much time I get. We have 30 acres. A lot of rock out there, so that'll be good. Yeah, won't be doing much farming. Maybe run a few sheep. A few pet sheep for the kids to muck around with. There's a few sheep out there now, actually, so... Yeah, so it should be good, should be exciting. Might set up a new field growing area so I'll be able to grow some more trees again because at the moment I can't grow any because we're at this halfway house. But in a week's time we'll be moving out and be all good. Be able to get some more trees developing in the ground. So I'm pretty excited about all that. It's been a long time, I reckon about a year. We've been mucking around moving out of our old house, trying to sell it, and that sold, finally sold. New house is all approved, so pretty excited, it's gonna be good. Anyway, back to the tree. A little bit carried away there. Um, still just trimming them back to two, two shoots at any one location, not three, and just cutting them back short basically one or two nodes depending on depending on how strong the area is um, at the top definitely cut it back a bit harder some of the lower branches you can leave them a little bit stronger keep the stronger branches at the bottom weaker branches at the top okay so Almost finished here yeah, with all me rambling on. Almost done. So it doesn't take very long as you can see. Just a bit of cutting. Some branches really take off. They go from the middle of the tree and go fly into the outside of the tree. Hard to catch up with where they come from. Okay, so from what I can see, the wire's not too bad on this, so I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer. Just to make sure those branches set where I want them. Might even pull that one in a bit. That one's on a guide wire, so I'll pull the guide wire down. Get it nice and close into the trunk there. Another big long branch here that I missed. Couple up the top. So yeah, just cutting them back nice and short, let it divide again. I don't know how many times I'll be able to do this throughout the summer. I'm hoping three. Could possibly only be two, or it could be four times. Not sure, we'll see how it goes here, the vigour of the tree. Seems pretty healthy at the moment, it's growing pretty fast, so... I mean, they always seem to in spring anyway, but... I've got a feeling it's going to get at least three. At least three cutbacks. Okay, so I'm just clearing some more out from the middle that I can see. It's the odd one that I've missed. Let's clean them up. Well, I think that's pretty much it. There's little shoot on the middle there that I'll probably take off. You might be able to see that little shoot on the inside there. My snips are on it there. I think I'll leave that because if I let that come out here and fill in this area a little bit more because you don't want to see the whole trunk all the way up. There's two ways of doing it. I can either cross over this branch here, let that cross the trunk a bit, which is starting to do already, or I can grow another branch from here, which will just fill in that area a bit. Um, I'm going to hide some of this reverse tape. I've got, I've done some carving so that you look at the carving rather than the 
reverse taper in the trunk. Um, yeah, so it looks starting to look pretty good. Pretty happy with this tree's development. No worries. I'll give you a bit of a spin of the tree. I'll give you a more of a close up. Just drop it down. Okay, so I'll give you a spin of the tree. Normally you wouldn't have this ugly wire hanging in the front of the tree like that, but it is only in development, so it is what it is. No worries. I'll um, give you a spin of the tree. Cheers for watching Aussie Bonsai Bloke. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.